FSE or full side editing. You might have heard this term before, but what does it actually mean? In this video, my goal is to demystify what FSE is and how it will change the way we interact and build websites in WordPress. Let's begin. When creating or customizing websites within WordPress, you primarily interact with three different entities. WordPress itself, themes, and plugins. In the traditional WordPress setup, WordPress provides the core, while the theme provides the logic, the structure, and the visual appearance of the website. If we compare this to a car, then we can imagine that WordPress is just the engine of the car, and the rest of the car is made by the actual theme that you're using to build your website. Now with that context, let's look at a page on a typical WordPress website. On any regular page on a WordPress website, you typically have a header, a footer, a sidebar, and then the body content, which combined make up the page. Now, if you've used WordPress before, then you would know that end users can only make changes to the body content directly, and everything else is at the discretion of the theme author. And that's not the only limitations users faced. End users also didn't have access to dynamic data to create a page, again being limited by what the theme authors provided to them. So if someone wanted to create a perfect website for themselves, they either bought a theme that fulfilled all their needs, or they spent resources in customizing a theme that they bought. This ecosystem of themes and WordPress working together worked really well for a lot of years. But then everything changed when page builders evolved. Now, page builders were nothing new in WordPress. But by 2016, page builders had evolved and they started offering what users had been long asking for inside WordPress. A visual site building experience, access to dynamic data to build their pages and their website, and a visual way to customize their themes in WordPress. Page builders like Elementor started offering all these capabilities on top of WordPress features. They quickly gained popularity and soon had millions of users. It was clear that this is what end users wanted inside WordPress. By this time, WordPress also saw the benefits and the opportunity of providing a visual site building experience right inside WordPress. With a clear roadmap, WordPress started working on the Gutenberg project, which is now called the Block Editor. And in 2018, they launched the first iteration of the project to the public. When Gutenberg or the Block Editor launched, it finally gave a way for users to visually design the content of their pages in WordPress. But it still didn't offer any full site editing or theme editing capabilities. However, after years of development, we are finally seeing how full site editing will be implemented in WordPress with the arrival of WordPress 5.8 and more recently, WordPress 5.9. For the first time, WordPress will not just be the engine of your website, but it will also give you the tools to create, customize, and visualize your entire website right inside WordPress. And that is what full site editing or FSE really is. If you'd like to learn more about how FSE or full site editing is implemented in WordPress, I'd suggest you watch the video on your screen right now.